Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today guys, we're taking a look at this black here and here. And I bet some of you guys didn't really know this card existed. And I've been meaning to make a video on this card for a while. It's really cool. It has the attack Dazzling Blizzard, which does 100 damage. And if you have any stadium card in play, this attack does 100 more damage. So if you have a stadium in play, we can do 200 damage. And this attack can be powered up pretty easily thanks to both Frost Moth and Twin Energy, which is really neat. Um, and it hits really hard, and doing 200 damage just flat out can be great, especially on a single prize or basic. And that's what we're going to be rocking with today, is going to try to see if we can win a few games with this Black Hiram deck and see what it's all about. Um, it is just a more of a single prize deck. I do, of course, have Dedenne and Crobat because we have to play them in our standard format, so I still have to play them. Uh, but this is more catered towards just the single prizes. I'm playing cards like Nessa to recover them. I uh, got some capes in the deck, and yeah, that's the list. So before you get the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PC Joe pack codes, uh, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin, of course, sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set code like Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Shining Fates, Rebel Clash, Sword Shield Base Set, or any of like older pack codes, or you want to get a theme deck code or a promo code, a V code, GX code, Sleep code, ETB code, get them all over at Car Cabin. Of course, if you do get any codes over at Car Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Car Cabin. So big shout out to Car Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Also, uh, if you want to get the video articles I've been posting over there, watch too, would be greatly appreciated. So let's look at this list, what I've got. So yeah, Black Hiram, really cool card. Kind of easy to power up despite having a costly attack, but there are ways we can get around it, of course. Dazzling Blizzard doing 200 damage. Now, you do have to have your stadium in play. Now, there are some issues with this attack. Um, if you don't have a stadium in play, you're only doing 100 damage. Now, I'm playing three training court and a Viridian. We have four stadiums in the deck to ensure that we hit 200 damage on the right turn. Training court and Viridian, I think, are great cards in this deck. You can grab energy with Viridian from your deck to power your Pokemon up. And then, of course, training court is another nice card with Frost Moth in general, allowing you to get energy from your discard. So when one Kyurem goes down, you can save one of the energies with training court. Um... So I am playing a few other Pokemon. I am playing Articuno. Um, I almost want to play more of these after recording and testing. I think two Articunos or even three could be kind of neat. But it's here for a Blizzard Veil, of course, when it's in the active spot. Your opponent can't use Boss on Snom or Kyurem or anything. And then we have Cold Cyclone, which can do 70. And then you can move two Waters from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So we can use Cold Cyclone with Black Blizzard. And this will actually allow you to put two energy on and then go twin energy attack. Or on top of that, you can also do 70 damage to a tag team, leaving them with 200 HP left. And then you can finish them off with Black Hiram. So that's kind of why Articuno has good synergy. And then VMAXs can be taken out with Suicune and Black Hiram. We can go 200 damage to a VMAX Pokemon, then knock them out with Suicune, which will do 230 in total, which will knock out VMAXs like you know dragapults urshifus you know stuff like that and uh aurora loop lets you conserve your energy too for your next attacker so just some nice synergy there with those one prizers that's why i am playing them because they synergize really well with the black kiram but also allows you to hit the right numbers you need in certain matchups against vmax and tag teams um, and you can recover them too with nessa and then ornate rod of course um and that's really yeah we got mew in the deck four three frost moth one to Denny, one crobat I wish I didn't have to play two prizers in this deck because it'd be a lot better if we didn't have any two prize liabilities in play. But standard for you, you got to play them because Marnie and stuff. And yeah, if only we couldn't play them. Like, we could play Giovanni's Exile, but I mean, let's be honest, who would play that? Um, I am playing Bruno. I like Bruno. Bruno in single prize decks, I'm finding to be really good because when it gets knocked out, you can shuffle draw seven, which is really good. So I'm, I'm really liking Bruno right now in these single prize decks. Um, and I'm playing Nessa as another recovery card. Because, uh, you know, you, most of the time you're making your opponent go through at least four or five black Kyurems, depending on if they end up bossing something. So, yeah, that's that. And uh, let's go try the deck out and see in action. Okay, let's get into the first match with black Kyurem here. We've won the coin flip. We'll go first and uh, see where this will take us here. All right, we got a double black Kyurem start. Uh, we'll we'll hold the hand. We might draw a calm here. Okay, they're mulliganing. Yeah, we'll take it. We do want to try to get a Frost Moth in play. Ooh, Capture Energy and Twin Energy. Okay, what does Frozen Wings do? Start Special Energy? That could be pretty beneficial in this matchup. If they are playing a Special Energy Focus deck. Okay, nice. That was a good that was a good draw. Oh, even better. We're playing against Altaria. I mean, rip my opponent, but <laughs> they kind of hit what I would call a uh, not-so-great matchup for them. We'll see how it goes. I actually don't know if I should have grabbed... Uh, I should have grabbed a second Snom, to be honest. So it never hurts to have two in play. You never know what might happen. Yeah, they're playing the Altaria deck. 
I mean, yeah, it's like pretty much not a win. Not even Kangaskhan can one-shot Black Hiram. So like we should be able to win this, but we'll see how it goes. We do need to just uh, get going. Yeah, they have a Munchlax. I don't, do I want to knock out the doll with Frozen Wings? I probably do, right? Yeah, probably do. Because we can find a Twinergy next turn. Like, yeah, we go Knockout, find Twinergy, go from there. Nice, Snack Search fails. Knock them out is risky. They might have a Rosa in their hand. Think. I, I don't know. I don't really know what these lists look like, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really play Altarius. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we can build another Kyurem, though. Play the Bucket. Check the deck. We got three Training Courts, Viridian, Nessa, Cape. Both Twin Energies are in the deck. Yeah, the Twins are there. We just gotta find one. Find one. Alright, we'll put three energy on, and yeah, we'll just go with a Frozen Wings. I'll knock them out. Like, if they have a Rosa, they have a Rosa, but they can't even attack me they have a Rosa. It's not like they have an energy, so I might as well put pressure on them with Frozen Wings. And if we can find Twin Energy, we can start doing Dazzling Blizzard. <laughs> might even hold the hand for a turn. We bought, well, Maybe we could have actually attached energy to the active, like, held an energy, put two on the Kyurem on the bench, save one for the active. No, my opponent doesn't have anything, and Black Kyurem is just going to start running my opponent over. I'm just going to attack him. I'm not going to do anything else. Gonna, we can, like, air balloon and then go Dazzling Blizzard next turn. I'm just going to chill out and hold the hand. Uh, yeah, I'm not really in any rush right now. Just kind of, we can chill out for a turn. My opponent does drop a Mew down. That is interesting. Um, I, I, I mean, the best thing they would have, they have to go, like, Kangaskhan into, like, an Altaria knockout. If I can get Cape on, that can't really be as easy. Uh, no, actually, Cape. No, Cape would actually not make a difference. Never mind. <laughs> Crash that. Crash that. Okay, they're going side power. Hmm. Where are they going to put this 30 damage? Like, on the Snom, I guess? That's like their only, like, beats in target. I guess I could put, like, 10 on each Kyurem to kill them with Kangaskhan. Yeah. They actually hit Frost Moth. All right, well. I mean, we can just Frozen Wings. They probably have an energy in their hand. Um, they're probably going to research here. Yeah, we're just going to research. See we get? Green Court, another Frostmoth. Not going to put the Frostmoth in play just yet. And we're just going to Frozen Wings. Get rid of their Twin Energy. Now they're down at Twin Energy. They have Munchlax, obviously, for the energy, but it's not a big deal. Next turn, we can probably... um, We could do a Dazzling Blizzard next turn if we want. I'm tempted to. We can knock out their uh, Altaria here. Uh... We'll see what they got, though. I mean, they have a three-card hand. They probably do have an energy in their hand, but, like, what's Psy Power really going to do? You know, what's it really going to do? Yeah, they just Snack Search. They do get heads, though. I got to imagine they're putting Bird Keeper back because they need to play a supporter because they have need to be in top deck mode. Yeah. All right, we'll just knock out the Altaria here, I think. I'm fine with that. We'll just attach that. We'll boss out the Altaria. And, uh, yeah, we'll hit it for... Actually, we'll play this Evil Incense, too, while we're at it. And then we'll knock out the Altaria. Dazzling Blizzard, 200 damage. See you later, Altaria. You didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Take out the Altaria here. Get a, our first prize in the match. We get a research. All right. Yeah, cool. And we're just chilling out for a little while until my opponent gets things going. Yeah, there's another Swablu. They have Bird Keeper. They actually promoted Munchlax, though, which is their fear treater. I Shouldn't they have Bird Keepered and then went into Munchlax? This might get another prize here. I mean, three cards. Super unlikely they find an Altaria and a Twin Energy off of this. Like, it's, it's very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. There's a Quick Ball. Don't think they played it any or bad. If they do, we got that. Okay, there's Kangaskhan. That's a little scary. It can take out my Kyurem. Uh, but we do have Training Court. We have Viridian still to work with. I'm not really concerned about my Kyurem getting KO'd here. We can even, like, thin out the hand a little bit. Yeah, they just snack search. They get another heads. Okay, they are getting some pretty lucky heads today, which is a little annoying, but not really the end of the world. It's not a big deal. And they're probably going to put Twin Energy back. They might need Bird Keeper if they don't have a supporter. Twin Energy probably, though. No, they are going to put Bird Keeper. Hmm. The Kangaskhan is annoying, not going to lie. Uh, but whatever. Let's just do this. Grab the last energy out of the deck. Put that there. And... Dazzling Blizzard, knock out the Swablu. All right, seems good to me. Pick our prize. We have Nessa. So they knock me out. We can just play Nessa and put back Black Kyurem and three energy if we want. Or we can just... I'll probably do Nessa. 
And put a Marnie in. Yeah, they got the Kangaskhan. They did find the twin. All right, so they did have it. That's annoying. They can KO me here. We didn't get the cape on in time. Because uh, I didn't really want to do anything with the hand. It's fine. We'll just Nessa. We put things back. I don't know. Like, it's really hard for them to win. They're getting their first prize, and we're already going to be ahead of... We're already going to be having... We're going to be taking three prizes here. So it's like... Yeah, I, I, I mean, they could have another Kangaskhan, though. So that's why we do want to probably just go Nessa. Get back Kiram. Get back the three water energy. And just reset the squad back up. We might need training court uh, for that last water, though. We could even just, like, frozen wings them again. Like, we have a lot of options here to, like, sold them. But we definitely just take the knockout. Um, we'll put the water on. I was tempted not to, but we'll put it on anyways. I don't, there's really no reason not to. We'll quick ball away one of these comms, too. And we'll just grab another black here. I'm not going to bench it gonna hold the hand and we're just gonna dazzling blizzard i want to thin out the deck a little bit so if we do get marnie which i don't know they did get bird keeper back but they have snorlax there's crowbat can't use that right now so they could kill me here with another kangaskhan if they do that we're gonna go training court put the water energy back in our hand dazzling blizzard them again so i mean we'll see if they can get back to back kangaskhan ko's i really want to get that cape on if we could just get the cape on that kangaskhan play is not as good they can still go like mew i guess but that's not gonna do enough So we'll see what happens. We'll see. The Kangaskhans are annoying though, but we have a cape of toughness in the deck for a reason. That's why we got the cape in the deck, bro. It, it helps us. It protects us. It keeps us safe. Okay, so they do have the Mew. They're probably gonna put Kangaskhan. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's a Marnie. I saw that coming. We do lose the training court for now, but we still have what three in the deck. We have like four stadiums. Okay, even get boss. We do. All right, we'll uh, just gladly knock out that little Kangaskhan. We'll take that little pest out. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, knock out Kangaskhan for sure. Definitely. We got knocked it out. I mean, they could still whip the twin energy. Like, they have two in the deck. You know, the chance they do find her are pretty low. But I do think we just knock out Kangaskhan here. Just be like, all right, yo, boss that thing up. You're not taking out my Black Hiram today. I had no energy in the deck, so we can't play Viridian. There might be an energy prize. We'll see. Another Bruno's good. All right. They knock out Kiram. We have a Bruno coming their way. Because we do still need to find Training Court. But, like, even if they don't... Even if we don't get a training court knockout, like if they knock me out this turn with like a Kangaskhan somehow, we can still frozen wings and slow them down. Like we still have a lot of control in this match. It's like very unlikely my opponent can stop the Black Kiram. It's just too strong, man. Black Kiram does 200 damage. The only way they can really stop me, they play a Chaotic Swell. That's the only thing I am scared of. And again, I don't know these Altaria lists at all. I don't play this deck. So I don't know if they have, I don't know if they play Swell or not. I got to imagine they do. It seems like a decent card to put in the deck. So I guess we'll find out if they got the Swell or not. Um, all right. Oh, they're down bad. They had to attach a twin energy to a Snorlax. That has to be a misplay. Well, I guess they can go with Body Slam. That has to be a mis. That that's not right though. <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice because they're like kind of stuck. And they can kill my Snom, you know, whatever. There's twin energy. You can put that on Kiram. Just knock him out. Not gonna play the Bruno or Marnie or anything. Just gonna hold my hand. There's a cape. All right, we can put the cape on. They're, I mean, they have one twin energy left in the deck. Are they really going to find it? Let's find out. Will they find it? Can they really find their, like, what? Their last twin energy? Yeah, they just concede. There we go. First game, bit of a cakewalk, but, I mean, Black here, man, it is the, uh, it's a strong single prizer, and it can take out other single prize decks. All right, getting into another match with the deck here. Uh, we've won the coin flip, which is nice. We will go first, because we do want to go first with this deck. We are against the Welder deck, which is nice. Because we didn't hit ADP, but all right. It looks like our starting hand, eh, it's not bad, actually. We at, le at least we have a way to get a Denon Air Crobat. I thought we didn't first. I was like, oh, typical PC Joe hand. All right, what are we up against? Oh, we're up against, okay, it's an Inteleon deck. So they are not playing, they're, they're misleading me. They are not playing a Welder deck. All right, let's go to the water. Um... I kind of like both Black Kiram and Articuno here, but I think I'm going to get Black Kiram because we can, like, play super aggressive. I kind of like, you know, go here, go here. Then next turn, we can do Dedene. Actually, do I want to lose Nessa? I don't know. I think it'll be fine. We try to play as aggressive as possible with Kiram as quick as possible, and we should be chilling. I guess we actually could have quick balled away the Nessa, kept the water energy in our hand, and then we could have attached. But at the same time, we get the water in the discard. If they Marty me, we can turn that training core into water. So I think it was actually better to get rid of the energy there so that we can take advantage of training court. 
So I think it was fine to get rid of the water there, especially if we get Marty. So I think it's fine. Don't worry, guys. Trust me. I'm an expert. Well, if we draw a Pokemon, we can get Frostmoth and a Dedenne. So there is that. I'm hoping if Mew's prize, though, we might be in a bit of trouble in this matchup. Mew being prize would not be good. Maybe we should have saved the cape because if we put the cape on, Intellion VMAX can't one shot me unless they get damage on me prior. So we maybe could have saved the cape, but I, I mean, we want to play aggressive, right? So we want to hit the Intellion. If they put the Intellion in the active and they snipe shot me, we can actually Dazzling Gleam them maybe on turn two and then we can. Uh... Yeah, Dazzling Blizzard on turn two, knock him out. Yeah, see, look at that. They Marnie me. I told you. All right, do we get to see what we could have drawn? Let's see if we drew up. We we're going to draw a Pokemon here. Looks like we were. Oh, we got Bruno, though. That's not good. Not what I want to be drawing here. At least we know we have Mune deck. Let's we'll see if they go into the Inteleon. It's very unlikely, though. Oh, no, but they play Hammer, too. They got a rub in the salt, bro. I told you, bro. I told you we could turn it to Training Court. Speaking of wit, do I want to play it? Yeah, we'll play the Training Court and we'll just Bruno them. I mean, they probably have one, too, right? So we want to put our Stadium in play before they do. Um, okay, at least Bruno got us a supporter. That's good. Um, just gonna chill out. Yeah, I'll hold the hand. We'll hold that. They could draw a Pokecom. Then we can turn that into a Frost Moth next turn. Not terrible. At least we got Mew in play, so that's good. Let's we'll see if they knock it out. There's a Drizzle. Yeah, hopefully they don't play a Stadium. Like, if they don't play a Chaotic Swell, that would be great. But Inteleon does not need Chaotic Swell. It's like one of the worst cards you could put in a Water deck. Because you, you'd rather play Training Court, right? So... We'll see if they play Swell or not. Maybe we should put a Marsh Shadow in the deck just to counter Swell because it's a popular stadium and it counters our deck kind of hard. I don't know. Maybe we should play a Marsh Shadow in here. I don't know. I mean, we have four stadiums. It's not that bad. Um, they do have Hammers, which still kind of scares me. I probably should have played the Training Court knowing they have Hammer. I was going to say the Training Court, though, but I probably should have played it because they could get a Lucky Hammerhead, which they probably will find one this turn. I, pr I probably should have played the Training Court. Yeah, I regret that. I, I should have played Training Court there to get the Water Energy back in our hand. I'm going to regret that. Let's see if they get a prize this turn. Best case scenario, they don't get a knockout here. We'll see, though. Want to make sure we hit them first with Dazzling Blizzard on their Inteleon. Getting the Mew down was good, though, because now they can't set this up to be one shot by the Inteleon VMAX as easily. So that's good. That kind of comes in handy. Yeah, there's the VMAX. Now three supporters. They haven't, yeah, they haven't played one energy. Yeah, there's the bucket. I was going to say, they just need a bucket to get me here. They can knock out my Snom. I'm going to promote the other Snom. We got to pray we get an attack off here. Marnie is not the greatest card to do that, but we can always try to find a Denny or Crobat. We haven't played a Quick Ball yet, so... Or we have played one, but we should still find one. Right, Marnie? Right, Marnie? You're, you're a very fair supporter. You're always good. Okay, they had a lot in their hand. Yo, is that last card an Air Balloon? What? Holy perfect hand. Okay, well, they're still kind of in top decky mode now. Kind of-ish. Not really. But, uh insane draw well we have to marnie them right okay never mind doesn't matter actually we have to marnie them anyways well there's the energy here we go marnie we just need to find a frost moth balloon energy okay well we got the dedene let the lose that's why we got rod let the lose a few curums here here we go come on dedene don't let us down Oh, you let us down, Dene. What are you doing? Dene let us down. You hate to see it. And I just marnie them to a fresh hand, too. Lovely. Got to, to play Crobat next turn, it looks like. Not good. All right, we're going to set the Frost Moth here. Try to spread out the energy a little bit. Put one here. That's a huge whiff. We just needed Air Balloon. Come on, Frost Moth. What are you doing, God? You're letting the fam down. We have training court. We should be fine. That sucks. <laughs> oh, that was such a big whiff. They're probably going to boss me now. They're probably going to kill my Dedene. I got to imagine they have a boss play here. Not looking. Well, they are down one of their Inteleons. Maybe they prized another one. They, I don't think... I think they only play two. Or that. Let's see if they boss Kurum. Oh, okay. That's fine. We can rot it back. We're going to have to put it back into play and stay in top deck mode. Fine, though. I'm fine with that. We need to make sure Mew, if we don't have Mew in play, we lose the game. Unfortunately. All right, let's go. Love to see it. RNG is still on our side today. Kind of. Not really. Usually RNG is never on my side, but it is today, apparently. Because we got that. Hopefully they don't play two boss, too, so they can't boss my Mew again. All right, we'll research. 
All right. We'll put that on. I'm gonna hit him with a Dazzling Blizzard for 200. They're probably gonna go in the other Italian, but they can't one-shot me thanks to the cape. Unless they play Tool Scrapper, which... I don't know if they play it or not. <laughs> I don't know if they'll have it. If they have Scrapper, they have Scrapper. We'll see if they have a third boss to work with, too. And they can't bench anything right now, so they can't Eldegoss for boss if they do have that in the deck, which they might. So if they have a boss, they have a boss. If not, Black Hiram's gonna knock out the uh, Italian here, and we're gonna be free chilling. I probably could have saved the Twin Energy, though, to be honest, because they could play a... Uh, they could play Crushing Hammer. We know they have that. But I do want to just play my energy down. You know, I don't think it hurts to play an energy here. Just get the energy down while we still can. I don't think that's a bad thing. Don't think that's a bad thing at all. All right, let's see what happens. We haven't played a boss yet, have we? We still boss in the deck. We do need to chase this Intellion at some point. All right, just a max bullet, and that is going to be really good for us. I think I'm just going to go... Oh, there's Balloon. I'm going to put an energy on this in case they do play a boss or a crushing hammer. Uh, I'm going to hold the hand and I'm just going to take a KO. And I'm going to balloon the frost moth and take a knockout. I'm always going to balloon the frost moth because if they play a boss, it's either going to be knockout to Dene or knockout Mew. So I'm just going to do that. There's our knockout. We'll see we have prized here. There's Bruno. That's pretty good for next turn. There's a calm. So now we just got to go hit the Intellion V Mac. Well, they could just knock me out the Intellion V, I guess. But then we can one shot that because it only has 200 HP. We knock out this and then we just boss something on the bench. So there's that win condition. Ooh, they might be looking to do a boss this turn. I, will they play Tool Scrapper? That is my big question here is do they actually play a Tool Scrapper in their deck? I'm really curious to see if they have a Tool Scrapper. I guess their moment of truth, we'll see if they have a third boss or not. If they have a third boss, we're in a lot of trouble. Well, maybe not. We have to evolve Snom so they can't boss to Denny and knock something out on the bench with a max bullet. We can still win this. It's going to be very close though. It's going to be super close. Yeah, they do have boss. They have a third boss. No tool scrapper, though. I was honestly expecting them to grab a tool scrapper here. Like, just, I just full on thought they had it, but they didn't. There's a hammer. That's why I put the extra energy on just in case. And there we go. There's the lucky hammer heads. That's why I put the energy on just in case, because I knew my opponent was going to get lucky. This is fine, though. I mean, we, the only way they can win is if they have a tool scrapper. They go boss, knock out Mew, tool scrapper, take two prizes on this, this turn. And then they, well, they wouldn't have a fourth boss, I guess. Oh, no, they're not going to knock out by Mew. Hmm. I think we want to Marnie them then, right? They didn't knock out Mew. I think we just play Marnie here. They promote this. I do want to play Bruno, though, to be honest. I don't know if I want to Marnie, because I don't want to put a bunch of the pores at the bottom of my deck. Okay, now we're going to make sure you get another Frost Moth down. Both boss are there. We have two research. Still have Crobat to work with. Not too bad. Oh, my opponent scoops. Let's go. Black here and wins. Is we not? Oh, yeah. We would knock to their Intellion. I just want to make... We got to play it safe that game. You know, we got to play it safe. God, we could just take a knock on the uh, Intellion there. But we definitely want to just play safe. But there we go. Black here takes a dub. All right. Getting into this next match. We'll see if we win the coin flip. We do. Oh, nice. Could be against the Turnages too. So, win the coin flip against this deck is actually pretty good. And all right. We got Suicune, Snom, and Black Kirim. Definitely going to open Suicune, I think. Not bad. We can, like, wave splash. I don't know if that's relevant, but it's... It could be. It can maybe they have Zacian. I don't know. All right. Let's see what we're playing against here. Yep. It's an Eternatus deck. They have Golbat. So they're playing, it looks like a Crobat engine in an Eternatus VMAX deck. I have to assume that's what they're playing. Great top deck. Great draws all around. Yes, sir. You love, love, lovely, lovely draws. Hmm. Bench this and pass. They might, they might Marnie me, so I might as well bench that. We could draw Calm. We'll have to Marnie them next turn because we didn't really get a great hand off of that. See if we can get a Frost Moth, though. Frost Moth be pretty good. Oh, they have Weezing. That's annoying. We could still work towards an Aura Loop to one-shot. It does do 130 damage. Hopefully, they don't switch into it. I said hopefully they don't switch into it. Not switch into it, please. Not good. Hopefully, they only have the one Weezing. If we just go through their first Weezing with Aura Loop, we should be okay. We do enough damage to one-shot. Then we do 130, so... Not a big deal, but it is a little annoying because we do lose our Frost Moth's ability, which kind of stings, not going to lie. It's a little annoying that they have the Weezing, but we can still Aura Loop KO it, so that's pretty cool. I might even hold the hand. I don't really know if I want to Marnie them because I don't want to give myself a bad hand. We don't need Frost Moth just yet because we don't have much to do. Yeah, they got the Weezing. As long as I don't play Crushing Hammer, I'm fine with this because we just attack them. There's a quick ball. We can save that. Yeah, we can hold the hand and just hit them with a wave splash and just pray they don't play Crushing Hammer, which, I mean, they could. They have the Weezing. Uh, please don't play Crushing Hammer. If they have Hammer, I'm going to cry a little bit. I mean, if they have Hammer, we're in a lot of trouble. 
We don't really have an efficient way to power up our Pokemon. Right? It's going to be pretty bad they have Hammer. But if we could just knock out this Weezing with Aura Loop, I'm feeling pretty good. Nice. Hmm. Okay, so... I think I want to play the Bruno when they knock me out here. I'm going to Quick Ball away the Marnie. Or, well, I don't know if that actually was the correct play. But they don't know I have a Bruno. I'm actually going to get a Articuno. We can fall back and go Articuno if worse comes to worse. I think that'll be the play. There's an Aura Loop. I'm not going to play the Training Court for obvious reasons. But you could just go into Articuno here if worse comes to worse. We can also Hard Retreat. I don't know. We'll see. There's another Quick Buy. We can just Crobat. I actually do want to get... I don't know actually what I want to do. If they just knock me out, we just play Bruno. It might have been too risky to do that. Maybe I should have quick balled the Bruno and kept the Marnie and the Bruno, but I think they're going to knock me out here. I think they're just, yeah. See, I told you, bro. I told you they're going to KO me. Me piece of cake. Um, Let's bring in this. Let's see we top deck here. Snom. I don't know. We'll bench this, I guess. Patch here. Uh, I don't want to play Training Court. I think I'm just going to Bruno. I'm not going to play the Court. I don't think we're going to tackle Black here. I, mean, I don't want to give him a Court because they're dead drawn and they don't have much energy. But Ooh, very close to getting the attack off. Very, very close. I think we're going to go for it. We're close. We just need... Oh, we already attached. We can't put Twin Energy on. Maybe we should just hold the hand for a turn then. They can't boss anything, right? So we can just hold the hand for a turn and then next... But they're going to get another... Well, they might not knock me out. No, are they? For each of your... No, 30, 60, no, no, no. Articuno man doesn't... If we had a cape on, they would have to get another basic to KO me here. And I do want to attack them. It is pretty important we do attack. We could also go knock this out, KO Crobat to win the game. That could be our kind of game plan we can try to work towards. So, oh, maybe it's not too bad. I don't think we're going to get the attack off this turn. We would need a lot. Well, get rid of Mew. It's probably not needed. We could do Crobat. I uh, maybe should. Uh, we have Bucket. All right. You know what? Let's let's see if we can actually get there. We'll go for it. Sure. We'll try to get the attack. We'll save the Quick Ball for today. No. Yeah. It might not have been worth it. I don't know. We'll see. See what happens here. Kind of thin all these out of the deck real quick. Grab a Pokemon we don't really care about. Probably just a Snom. Well, the Dene. This uh, this might backfire. They have a boss though. I think. It, but if we can hit, if we can get the attack, we're chilling. Maybe I should have played the Training Corp. But I didn't want to give him one. But now I regret it. Oh no, we didn't even get the energy. Yeah, it's just not. Wasn't meant to be. We didn't even get the energy. We have to lose a boss. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have went for that because now they can just win by going boss, boss. Yeah. I, I don't know. I probably should have just played it safe and let them kill my Articuno. I do regret that now. I regret that now. Hmm. Maybe it would have been different if I played the training core down turn earlier. We needed to find energy, though. If we found at least two energy, I mean, getting the attack there would have been really good, but... Oh, we needed some luck on our side. It wasn't impossible to hit the attack there. But it was just not meant to be. I hope we don't have to see another Weezing. That's why I'm scared of is a second Weezing coming down. Now we have two boss targets in play. If they get a boss KO this turn, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But our game plan is still KO a turn just and then KO Crobat or something. I think we can win this. Okay, they had a boss. So they had a boss KO, but they didn't take it, which is good. No, there's another Weezing. Absol. Oh, what the heck is that doing in there? That's annoying. Hmm. So Rod. I think lose another Kyurem here. I don't know. Well, now we have two two prizes in place, so uh, anything can happen. The Weezing is what worries me the most. Black Market, that's fine. We got four stadiums in the deck. Okay. Hopefully, we can attack them this turn. I'm mean, going to get Rod, too, at some point. All right, what do we top deck here? Not an energy or a way to get energy, so we can grab Frost Moth. We still have one bucket. We have a twin. I, it's Okay, if we whiff energy, if we whiff the attack here, I'm going to be super surprised. I just, I don't like losing this boss, though. Um, we'll see though. Here we go. Very unlikely we whip the attack, right? Easy peasy. Piece of cake, bro. Piece of cake. And we have a cape we can play down. 
I don't mind playing the cape on. Uh, we don't really need to put on black Kirim. Put on Crobat, I guess. I don't think that makes a difference, but I mean, if we're going to play, I might as well put on Crobat. Or just Dazzling Bazoon them. What I am scared of, though, is they are going to attack with another Eternatus, because I did just give them a training court, which means they can get an energy back, so they could just switch in the other E turn here, and that would <laughs> be very bad. At that point, we might just lose. They might also boss Crobat or Dedene. We could just lose to a boss boss play. I, I maybe I kind of regret going so aggressive now, to be honest. I kind of regret doing that. Yeah. They have Switch in their hand, too, don't they? No, they have a Research, but they're probably going to hit Switch. Okay, they lose some energy. Not that it matters, but it might matter. I don't know. Just wheezing. Let's see. If they just knock me out here, we can knock them out, hopefully, and go from there. Uh, bro, no! Hopefully they don't play two Crobat VMAXs. That's really bad. If they play two Crobats, that's awful, because then we don't have a way to win. Okay, nice. So they don't have a Switch. They're just going to KO me here. Okay. We can win now. And they also didn't boss me, which is good. So, like, yeah. As long as things go well, we still have a shot of winning this. We need to get one more Black Kyrim, though. Well, we'll calm this. See what we got in the deck. Yeah, we still have that Kyrim. We have a lot of outs here. We can go... We can do Training Court Verdian Forest. I kind of like that. Still have a bunch of Training Courts. Not really concerned about that. Yeah, this will just increase the odds of drawing into the play. And we just need to set up a boss kill for the following turn. See if we can get there. Here we go, Bruno. There's the twin. No boss's order, though. So we're unable to get the boss to finish things off. How many bosses have they played? Just one. Not good. Yeah. Not getting the boss. I don't even... It's in the deck, I think. I don't know. Not getting the boss here is not good, though. Um. Here we go. We got to go for this big play here. Take a KO. We might have boss. Maybe if the boss is prized. I don't know if it's prized or not. Ah, we'll see. If it's prized, we'll see. See if we get something here. Ornate Rod, not great. Rodder's good. Okay, if we can draw boss's order, we will win the game. We have eight cards in the deck. We have no Crobat or Dene. Well, actually, if they do take a boss knockout on one of my Pokemon here, we could Rod and then maybe draw into a Pokemon. And then maybe, okay, maybe we still have a shot at winning this. If they KO a Crobat or boss, we can Rod them back. Maybe get a Pokemon off our top deck. Calm for Dedenne. Okay, yeah, there might be a chance. Maybe. Maybe. Or we just flat out draw a boss. I mean, they could also whip their boss, but they have a Crobat. Okay, so no boss for my opponent. So pretty much down to what we draw here. We need to draw a boss or pray they don't have their last boss in their deck. Here we go. What's going to happen? That's not a boss's order. They have a four card hand. They have 11 cards left in the deck. They have a Crobat in play. If they have it, they have it. Not much I could do about that. Yeah, not much I can do about them. They have the other E-turn powered up too. Well, they are down a lot. They are down eight energy. They might actually struggle to find energy for the E-turn. They don't have one left in the deck. We can do research. But the problem is we need to get another... We need to build up another Kyrim on the following turn. Or we could just let the Frost Moth get KO'd. But they have the Absol. That won't work. This is just bad. I think we're going to lose this one, guys. We just got... I think, I'm, I think I've lost. I'm just going to play the Nessa. Um, I'm going to play the Nessa. I mean, I could research and Rod. I don't think it makes a difference what I do, though. You know? I, I don't think it makes a difference. I think I'm just going to play the two-shot game on this E-turn. I, I don't know. I We could have went Research Rod. Maybe that was actually the correct play to do, is go Research Rod there. Um, we'll just make him have either boss or switch and energy, and maybe we'll draw boss. I don't even know if it's in the deck, and I can't... I could search the deck with Viridian, I guess. We'll have to do that. Is it in the deck? It's not. Oh, no, so boss was prized. Okay. So now our win condition is pray they do not have a boss in their hand or a switch. Okay, I didn't. Okay, boss was actually prized. So we when we knocked out the E turn, it's the last turn. We had to get lucky and get boss. So unfortunately, the last two prizes were the boss's order to potentially win the game here. Let's see if they have a boss. They have a five card hand. They have a crowbat. They've only played one boss. Oh, they don't have it, but they do have bird keeper, which will seal the win unless. Oh, wait, they go wheezing. Wait, what? 
Do they have a switch? Okay, never mind. Yeah, so they win. So we lose. I was gonna say, what was what the heck just happened? Um that'll be game over. Uh I think I'm just gonna scoop the game up. Can't win the game. We prized our boss. I didn't know, but there we go. It was prized the whole time. And that'll be it for the video, guys, on the black Hiram deck. We did fall to uh, Eternus there. Super close game. It was certainly winnable for sure. We just needed a fine boss. Um, but E-Turn is beatable, right? Like, you know, with Crobat in play and all that good stuff, it is a winnable matchup. I don't think E-Turn is a bad matchup at all for this deck. We just got unlucky that that boss was prized. We can't do anything about it. Um, that'll be it for you guys on the Black Hiram deck. Hope you guys enjoyed today's PDCGO video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 17,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. If you want to leave a like on the video, support the content. It'd be great. YouTube, just the views are kind of just lower right now because I guess interest is low until, of course, Chilling Rain release. When Chilling Rain releases, the hype will go back up. So the game's just kind of stale right now. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. Check out Carcavin down below. Use code LDF. Check out the socials down below. Peace out.